hi you are highly welcome to my channel i'm happy to have you around today okay today we are asked to find the area of this place this portion now this diagram is not drawn to scale this is a uh rectangle all right now what we are asked to find sorry this is a square it's a square now what we are asked to find is here and here is a rectangle okay so if we call the length from here to here a the length from here to here b the length from here to here c now let us first of all try to understand what we want to do okay because that is the basic that is the main thing we need to know we are asked to find the area of this place and this place is a rectangle all right now if we call this side x and this side of the rectangle y area of a rectangle is equal to length times breadth okay so the area is supposed to give us x multiplied by y okay so once you're able to get the value of x and the value of y we are going to multiply both of them together to get the area of this place okay so the main question the big question now is how do we get the value of x and how do we get the value of y let's do that together now first um let us start from this remember that we have one two three four let's start with this one okay the first rectangle which is rectangle i the second one which is rectangle i i the third one which is rectangle i i i then the one we are asked to find which is rectangle i v okay all right now let us start with i for i for i area is equal to a times three right remember that your area is what your length times your breadth okay so length times breadth that should be three times a or uh, a times three now but we've or they've given us the area already as 20 okay so that means that we write 20 is equal to a multiplied by three therefore to get the value of a it is easy right let us divide both sides of this equation by 20 because if you solve this you have 20 is equal to 3a now if we divide this by 3 divide this by 3 3 we divide itself to give us 1 so we have 20 divided by 3 is equal to a now we are going to keep this okay 20 divided by 3 is equal to a so we'll replace this with 20 over 3 20 over 3 all right now similarly similarly let us get the value of this b okay b remember that the area of i i that is area of i i should be equal to four times b or b times four so if we say four times b it's going to give us 30 because 30 is the area all right now if we solve this we have 4b is equal to 30. to get the value of b we need to divide both sides of this equation by four so we have 4b divided by 4 is equal to 30 divided by 4. 4 we divide itself to give us 1. 1 times b is b is equal to, at this point, we need to reduce this to its lowest term, right? So if we do that, let's divide the numerator and the numerator by 2, okay? Now, 30 divided by 2 will give us 15. 4 divided by 2 will give us 2. So, it means that B is 15 divided by 2. So, we write that 15 over 2. Nice one. Now, similarly, let us find the value of C. 
But before that, if this is the first time you are seeing this amazing face and this amazing channel, click the subscription button, turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos. We upload our videos as much often as we can. Tune in at your convenience. There must be something new for you to watch. Give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. Thank you very much. All right, now back to what we are saying or what we are doing. We've gotten here to be 15 over 2. Now let us um, um, solve for this. So for I, 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 all right, remember the area should be equal to 6 times C, right? C multiplied by 6. And the area is already 40. You can see that. So we have 40 is equal to 6C. So to get the value of C, we divide both sides of this equation by 6. So we have 40 divided by 6 is equal to 6C divided by 6. So here 2 will divide this to give us 3. 2 will divide this to give us 20. So we have 20 over 3 is equal to... 6, we divide itself to give us 1. 1 times C, we give us C. You can see, we have gotten our C as well as 20 divided by 3. Now, let's write that. Let me use something else to clean this. Okay. Yeah, this is better for me. The duster seems to be making it dirty. All right. So, we got 20 over 3 for C. So, we are going to write 20 divided by Three. Now, what am I up to? What are we up to trying to get all these values? What do we actually want to derive? Okay. Now, remember that we need the value of X and the value of Y to find the area of this place. Okay. Now, also remember that Y multiplied by 6 should be equal to 3 multiplied by, sorry, y plus 6, this length, should be equal to 3 plus 15 over 2, all right? So, that means that we have y plus 6 is equal to 3 plus 15 divided by 2, okay? Now, we have y to be plus 6 minus 6 is equal to 3 plus 15 over 2 minus 6. All right. Now, this 6 over 1, this is 3 over 1. Plus 6 minus 6 will give us 0. So, we have y is equal to 3 over 1 plus 15 over 2 minus 6 over 1. Now, the LCM of 1, 2, 1 is 2. So, let's try to make all the denominators to be 2. Okay? So, to do that, we need to multiply 1 by 2. So, we also multiply 3 by 2. So, it's going to be 3 multiplied by 2 divided by 1 multiplied by 2. Plus, this is already over 2. So, we'll leave it like that. Minus, now, this is 6 multiplied by 2 divided by 1 multiplied by 2. So if we solve for that, we have y is equal to 3 times 2 is 6 and 1 times 2 is 2. Plus 15 divided by 2 minus 6 times 2 is 12. So we have 12 divided by 2. So we have y is equal to, now they share the same denominator, which is 2. So we copy the numerator 6 plus 15 minus 2. So we have y is equal to 6 plus 15 is 21. 21 minus 2. Ah, minus 12. 21 minus 12 should give us 9. So it means that y is 9 over 2. So let's replace here with 9 over 2. Okay? All right. Now, let us try to find the value of x as well, all right? So, to get the value of x, let me come here. So, you can see that x 
plus 20 over 3. So we have x plus 20 over 3, okay, is equal to 4 plus 20 over 3, all right? Now let's subtract 20 over 3 from both sides of this equation. If we do that, we have x plus 20 over 3 minus 20 over 3 is equal to 4 plus 20 over 3 minus 20 over 3. Okay? Now, 20 over 3 minus 20 over 3 give us 0. So we have x is equal to... Now, 20 over 3 minus 20 over 3 is also 0. So we have x to be equal to 4. So we are going to replace this with 4. And here we have it. Remember that our area is x multiplied by y. Now and our x is 4 and our y is 9 over 2. So let's go ahead and find the area. So the area then should be equal to 4 multiplied by 9 over 2. Now 2 we divide this to give us 2. So the area is 18 square meters. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.